Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel and checking out this video and uh, and the support so far. I'm trying to uh, improve things and get used to uh, doing YouTube stuff. It is uh, interesting and I'm not a techie guy, so I'm gonna try to improve and do the best I can and I wanna bring you better content and good content. So uh, coming up is um, a video here where I had my block at the, at, uh, Rob, uh, his shop is Cutter Up, and his YouTube is Cutter Up Rob. So you see how that works. Um, so yeah, he brought out the uh, the block for me, and uh, for the bigger uh, pistons, going from 81 to 83 millimeter. So we just uh, went there to check uh, ring gaps, um, check oil clearances for the crank and the rods, and we installed the crank, and then I took it home to do the rest. So it was interesting. I appreciate Rob's help with uh, with uh, just guiding me and letting me use his very expensive tools for uh, for checking out the clearances. And it was uh, interesting to, to be able to do that with, uh, with his supervision. So uh, yeah, so go check out his YouTube channel. There's lots of interesting information there um, about engines, about diesels, about uh, practical stuff, how to work in your shop, all sorts of things. And um, yeah, so we're going to be getting started here with uh, more Passat VR6 turbo content and the new engine, the new setup. So it's going to be interesting. Anyway, enjoy the video and I will catch you on the next one. Yeah, yeah, no, I would, that's, I wouldn't do it. All right, guys, I'm here with Cutter Up Rob. Gentlemen. Uh, he's a good buddy of mine. We were just working on the VR6. We put the, the pistons, rods, and the main, no, we didn't do the pistons. We didn't no, do the pistons. pistons. We just rings. did crank and main bearings, right? Crank, main bearings, we checked the oil clearance on the rods yep. and ring gap. Yep, and we put the ARP main studs. Yep. And the rest I'm gonna do at home. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything went pretty good. Yep, no problem. It's uh, sort of round. Yeah, it's pretty round. <laughs> it's pretty round. <laughs> it's, round. It's round. It's round on the big side, so it'll be fine. Yeah, it's pretty round. That's that's how we like to do it. It's yeah. just pretty round is good enough. We checked yeah. it with one eyeball. Yeah, it's good. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how we checked the uh, we yeah. checked the rings that way. Yeah. Yeah, we checked it with the gauge first, and then we just started using the eyeball because yeah. it's like, yeah. yeah, they're big enough. Well, they yeah. were bigger than spec was supposed to be, so. Yeah. We eyeballed a few of them because we couldn't get the we couldn't get the feeler gauge to do what we wanted. So yeah. Plus, you calibrate your eyeball after ah, a little yes. while. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> so, but it's uh, it's late, so we're gonna take off, and we'll get the motor together sometime soon. Yeah. Hopefully soon. And then Rob's got some plans for dyno. Dyno. So then, yeah, we're gonna well, we're gonna blow everything up. We're gonna blow everything up. Yeah. Hopefully it makes a good number before we do that. Yeah, well, you know. If it blows up with like 400 horsepower, then. Yeah, that's not so much fun. I'm not even gonna, I'll record it, but I won't show it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, yeah. I'll just have a video of me sad for yeah. like five minutes and then you guys <laughs> yeah. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. Go check out Rob on his uh, channel, Cutter Up Rob. Uh, especially if you like Cummins stuff. He does some pretty wicked stuff with, uh, with the Cummins, which I've, uh, mentioned before but uh it's definitely and you'll learn a lot too he has a lot of practical tips uh on a lot of his uh, shorter videos where he gives you advice on how to do little things with tools when you're working on your stuff so go check him out it's definitely worth it other than that take it easy take it easy guys thanks